Building Effective Relationships by Brooklyn Short Although establishing dominance and letting others know the teacher is in charge is imperative, it is also important to establish effective and cooperative relationships with those involved in the classroom and education. Building effective relationships does not necessarily mean building friendships. According to studies by California State University Northridge, relationships should be close but limited. The teachers should have cooperating relationships with the students, the parents, and other teachers and coworkers. Students spend around seven hours each day at the schools for almost 10 months of each year. These days go a lot better when there is a positive relationship between the teacher and students. A positive relationship can be quite difficult to attain, but the results will make the attempt worthwhile. According to California State University Northridge, a positive relationship between the teacher and student usually will possess the qualities of good communication, respect for each other, and interest in the role as teacher or student. These qualities can help create an approachable learning experience that is inviting to the students. In order to build a successful and trusting relationship, the teacher should be open and honest with the students, engage all students in discussions, and express value for the students and their good works. The communication between the teacher and the student serves as the connection between them. Communicating and interacting with the students helps the teacher to learn about the students and their habits. Students have different strategies for learning and all have different goals. Knowing the students better prepares the teacher in helping the students achieve and accomplish these goals. It is important for the teacher to have a positive relationship with the student's parents. Parental support for the teacher and involvement in the student's education is vital to learning and discipline. According to Education Oasis, part of a successful education comes from home, so it's important to involve parents in the learning experience. Active involvement and interest in the child's learning has a positive impact on the student. The best way to form a relationship is to connect with the parents from the start. Teachers from Education Oasis found it is a good idea to hold a conference within the first month of school to meet the parents, communicate with them about your expectations, and tell them how you will be available to the parents and students throughout the year. If parents have concerns or questions, answer them head on. Connection with the parents should be kept all year. Sending out newsletters, letting the parents know what is going on in the class, and phone calls with good news about a student's progress will help to strengthen that parent-teacher relationship. Education Oasis claims that this can help create a sense of well-being and show the parents that there is nothing to hide. Having the support of the parents will make the learning environment a more positive place. Cooperative relationships between teachers and administrators within a school are an important factor in developing effective schools and improving the education for the students. When teachers and staff are willing to work collaboratively, much more will get done. Being surrounded by supportive people is a great way for the teacher to build confidence. Teachers can bounce ideas and opinions off of each other, which provides a new and unique perspective. It's good for a teacher to connect with an older, more experienced teacher. This teacher can serve as a mentor and share his or her experiences to better prepare that teacher for different situations that may come up. This will help the teacher feel more confident and prepared in the classroom. This kind of environment where teachers work collaboratively with students, parents, and co-workers provides a more positive learning experience. Effective relationships encourage teachers and students to achieve more in their education. For more information, please visit Educational Leadership, Trust in Schools, a core resource for school reform. Thank you.